One of the roadblocks to the housing recovery has been tight mortgage credit. Rates may be low, but they're only good if you can get them. As we continue our look at the spring buying season, Diana Oleg tells us how lenders are starting to ease up, not so much on their standards, but on the types of loans they can offer. After being turned down for a mortgage last year, Leah Harris has been renting in Washington, D.C. Now she is finally moving into a home of her own. I tried last year at about the exact same time, and nothing was different than it is now. Same income, same assets, pretty much everything was identical. In time for spring, mortgage credit is beginning to thaw, specifically the return of the low down payment loan. Since the housing crash, 20% down was the rule, with FHA, the government's mortgage insurer, the only exception. I think a lot of it has to do with the individual banks that have different underwriting standards. Fannie and Freddie have their traditional guidelines, and if you underwrite to those guidelines, many of the people are qualified today. Government-backed Fannie Mae says it has not eased its underwriting, but is now buying more home purchase loans with between 3 and 10 percent down. Why? FHA loans are getting more expensive. Facing a $16 billion shortfall, FHA raised its insurance premiums. Fannie Mae does require private mortgage insurance on low down payment loans, but it is often cheaper than FHA. Meanwhile, as home prices rise, the private mortgage insurers, hard hit by the housing crash, are easing some standards. It's not about the down payment. It's about making sure that the borrower has the ability to pay the mortgage after it's made. Also fueling more loans are more home buyers, especially first time home buyers who need that low down payment mortgage. Until now, they've been largely sidelined by either tight or pricey credit. The low down payments are necessary for the first time buyers so we can have the second time buyers moving up, moving up, moving up. Banks are also easing up because as mortgage rates rise, their refinance business is drying up, putting the focus back on home buyers. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Diana Olick in Washington.